Hi one and all, this is Srikanth from Prajim Technologies and a warm welcome for everyone to the session number 2 in the part of React Learning Series. In our last session, we have discussed about what is React, its journey so far and important features of React. Continuation to our React Learning Series, in this session, we will look at how to configure React in our local system and how do we create our first project using React. To set up React in our system, first step is to install Node.js and NPM. Node.js provides a runtime environment to execute JavaScript code from outside a browser. Node Package Manager is used for managing and sharing the packages for either React or Angular based projects. NPM will be installed along with Node.js. Node.js can be installed from the official Node.js website that is https colon double slash nodejs.org. Let us open the browser and let me type the URL https colon double slash nodejs.org. Here we can see download for Windows and we have two options either to go for LTS or current. So LTS is the one which is recommended for most users. Let's click on this and let us wait until it gets downloaded. Installable file is downloaded. So let's click on open, click on run, next, click next, 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 and click next, click on install. Let's click finish. And now let's move to start all programs. And let's check for node.js folder. And in node.js folder, we can find the command prompt node.js command prompt. Let us open this node.js command prompt and let's see whether the node is installed properly or not. So there is a command available node space hyphen v and we can see the version that is 12 which is being installed. There we go. Now the node.js setup is done along with node package manager. The next step is to install a tool named create react app using node package manager. This tool will be used for creating react applications. We can install this at system level or it can be installed temporarily even at folder level. We will be installing this at global using the below command. Now let us open node.js command prompt. And then let's say npm install hyphen g, g represents at global level. And then we say create react app. As we could see, create react app is successfully installed. Now it's time to step in and create our first react project. So I would like to create a react project in this specific folder of the drive. So I copy this and let us make our command prompt to point to the directory. So I say cd the folder name. Then we say d colon. Now we are pointing to this specific folder using our command prompt. Now it's the time to create a new project. So we use create react app and then let's say the project name. I call it as demo project. Now this will create a new project called as demo project in a specific folder called as react programs. There we go. It takes some time to create the project. Now the project is created successfully and remember one important point whenever you are creating a project using react please do not give any capital letters in the project name. React will throw you an error when we try to do that. Now the project is created and let us use our node.js command prompt to navigate to the project which we have created. So we say cd demo project as that is the project we have created. And now we can see our node.js command prompt is pointing to the project which we have created. Now we can run the project by using a command called as npm start. 
now react starts a development server in which our application would be hosted from where we can access the application here we can see our application is running locally on this particular location http colon double slash localhost colon 3000 and now if we navigate to the browser we would see our react application running inside the browser and you can see messages the command we have used to run the project is npm start we have created a new project using react and we are able to successfully run the project but as a developer we would be more interested to know about the project which is being created its structure and we would like to play around it so it's time for us to get our react editor when we think of editor for react there are plenty of options available like visual studio code react ide sublime editor atom editor webstorm and few others we will use visual studio code as our editor visual studio code is a free ide built for developing and debugging web applications it has integrated git control and terminal visual studio code's intelligence allows visual studio code to provide us with useful inputs and auto completion features when we write the code so the next step is to install visual studio code i have kept the location from where visual studio code can be downloaded handy i copy this let us use our browser to navigate to this location that is https colon double slash code dot visual studio dot com slash download and we can see there are options depend on our operating system so we can download the respective one i have downloaded for windows and now i launch visual studio code and now we use file open folder our program is created inside react programs demo project i select demo project and then say s as one can see demo project has three different folders node underscore modules public and src we will understand what each folder would be holding in our later sessions the response we see in this browser comes from a file called as index.html which resides in a folder called as public now if we open this it has head and body sections in it inside the body we can see it has one div with id as root but to understand the relationship between this output and the index.html as this output says edit src slash app.js so let us get into this file which sits inside src so let us open this app.js and in this app.js as one can see it has a function called as app in which they are returning a div and the div has an image some text and a link now we can make some change to this link and see if this change could be reflected in the browser let us save this change now go back to the browser and one could see that this change is updated here now how it gets updated is something we'll discuss when we get into react further now the next question is how these two are linked to each other to get an answer for that we have to open another file called as index.js inside src folder this index.js has one method called as react dom dot render to which we are passing two parameters the first one is the app function which we have created and second one is the element id in which the contents of this function should be placed now how it works internally will be discussed in detail when we get into react further with this we have the setup ready in our system to explore react further but let's say we are in office we have some free time and we are interested in playing around with react then we can use an online code playground we have few websites like codepen code sandbox or glitch available 
now let us go back to our ppt so we are done with this step now the next one is online code editor so for example let's say we want to create project using code pen then we can open this https colon double slash codepen.io in a browser let me navigate to our browser right so i open a new tab https colon double slash codepen.io and here we have an option called as start coding and here i write a simple div div id is equals to test then we go to our js section and then we say react dom dot render h1 welcome to our react programming and let us close h1 comma now here we can pass the container in which this content must be placed we say document dot get element by id and the id is test but unfortunately our browser cannot understand this react dom dot render for that we have to refer to few javascript files now how do we do that is let us click on this pen settings which is what we called as and here you can see we can add external script resources i have kept them ready so we refer to react and then in the second one we would be referring to react dom so the second one would be pointing to the virtual dom which is created or introduced by react before we close we had to set this javascript preprocessor to babel more about babel will be discussed in our upcoming videos now let's close and you can see the output here welcome to react programming i hope we all are clear on doing the project setup and creating our first project using react thank you for watching this video and have a great day